auto tracking with the TR310 camera. To begin, use the directional arrows to find your subject and it's best if one subject is in front of the camera for this. So tilt and pan with the directional arrows. Once that subject has been identified, press on and this will begin the auto tracking. Some things to consider, um, it's best if one person is in the frame while setting up auto tracking and then you can also move between full body mode or upper body mode by pressing the buttons at the bottom in the bottom row of the remote control. This will show a more zoomed in or zoomed out video. Now let's look at auto tracking in the classroom. First, I'm going to use my directional arrows to e either tilt up or down or zoom in and out. Actually, zoom is right below. You'll see the zoom, fast and zoom buttons right below. But I'm gonna pan. Right now I'm tilting because I wanna find the subject and the subject is me. So I wanna point the camera at myself. Once I've found myself and I'm the only one in frame, press on and I can now let go of the remote and the camera will track me as I move around the classroom. To turn it off, press off, and it will stop tracking. The camera may pick up the wrong subject if there are multiple people in frame and multiple people are moving. So to mitigate this issue, one, you can turn off the auto tracking and start the process over. Two, the intended subject that should be tracked moves to a preset location, turns off auto tracking, and then presses the corresponding preset number to aim the camera to that location, that preset location. And three, the intended subject can wave hands at the camera for the camera to detect the subject. Sort of like when we're trying to turn on lights that are on a sensor. Thank you.